Good afternoon, Rich Nass with Embedded Computing Design. We are at Embedded World in Nuremberg. Boy, it's nice to be back in Embedded World in Nuremberg. Great. I'm with Jason Cridner. He is the king of BeagleBoard. How you doing, Jason? <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. It's glad to be here again. Absolutely. So you guys have a pretty big announcement for this particular embedded world. We do. This is really huge for us, right? So we've got a new um, single board computer, Beagle Point. Play. This guy? This is Beagle Play. This is our, a new single board computer. Um, but we also have a, our first microcontroller-based um, board in a nice little enclosure. It's wireless. Um, Tell me what's Beagle different Connect about Freedom. these guys. Um, there's a lot different about these guys. Um, it's really focused on making things simpler, um, particular for um, sensor networks. Sensor networks, like industrial or um, what are you sensing? All, all types, right? So industrial, home, building, um, so different types of, of automation. I what, say sensor networks, but a sensor is really a lot more than just sensors, but that's... What what sensors are on there, or is, is it just the I.O. to put in whatever sensor you want. Yeah, so let's focus here on the, the, com the, the, the computer, right? The Beagle Play, right? This doesn't come with a lot of sensors on it, but a whole lot of ability um, to connect sensors to it. Um, mm -hmm. The first thing that stands out is, right, this microbus um, port, right? So there's over a thousand different sensors, indicators, actuators, um, connectivity options that you can plug in. Everything from okay. um, cell modems to, um, you know, air quality monitors, mm -hmm. Um, again, over a thousand, lots and lots of different things you can plug in there. Tell me how you program those. So we support them through Linux drivers. Mm -hmm. So this is um, running a Debian Linux flavor that we, we created. And we've worked with Microelectronica to create an ID um, for their clickboards, um, such that as newer clickboards come out, you just plug them in and the drivers just come up and they just show up as, as Linux devices. And the main CPU on there? Um, this is a quad-core um, ARM 64-bit um, Cortex-A53. Um, it's a TI processor SOC that AM625. So are you basically pulling down open source when, when you're doing this? We, we are, we're not just pulling down open source, we're contributing back to open source. So we're using um, the open source Linux kernel. We've um, just sent our patches to the mainline kernel for the support of this board. Um, and we are um, submitting additional patches to try to make uh, connecting sensors a lot easier than it has been in the past. And BeagleBoard.org is my best source of info on that? Um, absolutely, that's your best source of info, right? I, I just, you know, before we move to, there's a lot more to kind of see um, going on here in this single board computer, right? So you're not just limited to plugging in the sensors, mm -hmm. you can also take that same, we've got those same microbus slots here to be connected to wirelessly. So we've What do you mean you got the same slots there? So here you've got the, the microbus connector um, on uh, uh, the Beagle Connect Freedom as well as on um, the Beagle Play. So you can plug those sensors in directly or you can use the wireless connection up to a kilometer away um, to read sensor values remotely. A kilometer away. What's your wireless medium there? Um, we're using 802.15.4G. Okay. Um, but the radios are actually very flexible. They can run things like Amazon Sidewalk, um, uh, the um, Wi-Sun. Um, so there's a number of different protocols for you know closer. We could based do on the module that you use. Uh, based on the, the the module chipset that we're using. So we're using the, the TICC 1352, but it's a it's a software defined radio. Mm -hmm. It does sub gigahertz frequencies as well as 2.4 gigahertz. Um, so we get a lot of range out of the communications that way. Where are you going to be this week? Because people are going to want to talk to you. <laughs> sure, we're going to be at the Texas Instruments booth at Embedded World. I think they're in um, um, Hall 3A. Um, in the 500 or so region. Awesome. Look for Jason there.